19 seconds to go. 24 apiece. And the punt is Brad Wing. Wing gets it away. It's a knuckler. It goes out of bounds. It's short. And the Eagles are going to take over at their own 38-yard line. Despite favorable field position, the Eagles still needed a wing and a prayer to pull off the game's turning point. Hey, this is what we do all week. We prepare for this. Let's go score on three. One, two, three, score. Let's go, man. Seven seconds to go. Tie to 24. Philadelphia will have a second and 10 from their own 38. Question is, can they go downfield and get a timeout with seven seconds left? It's very doubtful. With 20! With your shot! Wentz is back to throw. He looks, throws a deep ball off the right side. Pass is caught by Jeffrey, and he gets out of bounds with one second to go. Coach made a great play call, one we've worked on quite a bit. And um, knew with seven seconds we were definitely cutting it a little close, but that's kind of that situation. You got to take those chances. Jenkins and Apple ran into each other. Wow. We know it was coming, and um, basically he just got outside, and I just tried to break. I know Eli seen it, but I tried to break before Eli, and I just happened to bump Eli. Like something that we practice all the time, man. I was just thinking just get out of bounds. I seen two defenders hit each other, so I just think get out of bounds. Earlier in the fourth quarter, on two critical third downs, Alshon Jeffrey was lined up against Giants cornerback Janoris Jenkins, who was playing press coverage. The Eagles came up empty both times. Third down and eight. Pass broken up. Jenkins on Jeffrey. Dang. Dang. Hey, we got our best guy against their best guy twice on third down. Over two. On the game's turning point, rather than playing press, Jenkins lined up in off coverage, which afforded Jeffrey a free release into his round. Another reason for the play's success were the manipulation skills of quarterback Carson Wentz. At the snap, Wentz looked toward Nelson Aguilar in the flat. That drew the attention of Giants cornerback Eli Apple and created an opening for Jeffrey. Wentz made a perfect throw, one the Giants couldn't afford to allow. I made a hell of a throw. What you said? Apple was right there, and he didn't knock it away. Wow, that is unbelievable. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go. This is going to be another decision by Peterson. Do you heave it to the end zone or try a 61-yard field goal? 35-yard line was the target line. We were trying to get as close as we could, but we felt that if we were outside of that, about where we were, um, we were going to at least attempt it. Given that situation, I kind of just ran up to the coaches at the end and just kind of pray, prayed and asked for a chance there. But I was just kind of running over there begging to kick it. This guy's a superhero if he makes it. Well, we knew uh, Jake had, had pretty good range. I wasn't sure. Uh, 61 was, was doable. You know, you never really think, think that. But we had coaches had a lot of faith in him. I had a lot of faith in him. I'll give him my game check. He makes it. This is the dream of a kicker. Those dreams that they have of winning games, this is that one. Yeah, but it's 61 yards. Hold your breath. The kick is away, and the kick is... So proud of you guys. You never gave up. Offense, great job. We went down, we tied it, got the field goal at the end. Where's Mr. Elliott at? Nice job, nice job.